Shout out Armando FM. Shout out Alex, bro. You get me? That's his channel. Go over there and subscribe. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, uh, hey, Uber, your snake, bro. He snaked the man them. I remember those videos. Man was saying, I want to be a legend at Arsenal like Henri, like Wrighty, like Bergkamp. Man's gone to Chelsea now. Why is it always, yeah, that Chelsea always get Arsenal's best players? But Arsenal always get Chelsea shit ones. David Luiz, Willian, all of these guys over the years that are just shit that everybody knows is shit that they should have never had any business with are the ones that they're taking always from Chelsea. Always, bro. How many centre-backs do you actually need, bro? You get me? Man just spent 72 million. Probably the most that they've ever... Okay. Is it the most that they ever spent on a centre-back? Because this is like Maguire levels now. Like Wesley Fofana is... I could probably say light years ahead of Maguire in the fact that he's young... Way more physical. Okay, no, that's a lie. He's faster, though. Way faster. Um, as a footballer, in this guy, you know what? In real life, he's actually a really good player, though. I can't lie. Like, I would have probably put him as a fullback just because of that pace. But he can definitely play as a centre-back as well. Amazing footballer. 72 million. Are they just flexing or something? That's what it feels like. Are these men just flexing on us or something, bro? Like, Chelsea, they're not really... I, I want to say that they're a joke of a club, innit? But um, they're not really playing games, if you get what I'm saying. Because... Although Tuchel, like, whatever has been going on, they, they just lost against flipping Southampton. This is what I'm trying to say. So, the fact that they're signing a centre-back now, it's all weird. I can't lie. Call it Bali. How many centre-backs do these men need, bruv? It's weird. You get me? But, yeah, this guy, he's very good, bruv. Very good. And he can, he's shown that he can do it in the Premier League as well, which is the best thing. You get me? So, yeah, that's my life for far now. This is what I'm trying to say, bruv. Man go to, to rival clubs all the time. It always happens, bro. That's why I looked at it and I was like, hold on. If these players can go from one club to another that are beefing, why can't I? As the fan, why can't I switch teams, bro? Like, I know it sounds mad. I don't really care. Listen, listen. That's, that's how it feels, though, because he's just gone to their rivals. 32, 33, touching 33 in real life, yeah? Bro, Aubameyang has gone to Chelsea. That doesn't even sound right, bro. That doesn't even sound right. This guy was the captain of your of your club going to Chelsea. That's mad, bro. I can't lie. Like, jeez. I mean, right now, the way they're playing, they don't need it. But still, that's mad. Like, fam, Aubameyang, really, he's snaking the man them. It's, it's crazy. There's no loyalty. I can't lie. There's no loyalty, bro. This is why I say what I say, in it Because I'm just being real. Like, no one cares about previouses. We just want right now. And right now, Chelsea... Okay, to be fair, um, Arsenal and Chelsea right now one's way above the other in the league, but still, like, I can say probably in terms of ambition, maybe, how much is being spent. Chelsea, okay, even that doesn't even make sense. It's hard. I don't know how to put this, you know, because this is just such a weird one for me. Aubameyang is at Chelsea. I want to call him a snake, but it would be hypocritical, hypocritical for me to do it. So someone else has to call him a snake, bruv. You get me? He's, he's done the snakey thing. He's gone to the rival club, bruv. Hey, listen. Above all of this, all I can say is I hope he does well in it. I can't lie, because obviously, if you're not Arteta's favourites, then you'll get dashed out. That's just the simple facts, yeah? But one thing that I'm really waiting for is this that I'm about to say right now, yeah? I want it to be a Arsenal versus Chelsea derby, Aubameyang to score, and do an Adebayo and do a front flip in front of them, <laughs> in front of the Arsenal fans. Oh, if that happens, I'll lose my shit, bruv. I can't lie, bruv. I pray to God, yeah. At least score, because I know he's going to do the front flip. He's not He's not that kind of person to hold his hands up. He ain't doing that, bruv. He's already been, he's already been a traitor. So he's going to do that flip, bruv. I, I can't wait. Hey, bruv, do it, innit? And then and then we'll see what he's really on, you get me? And, and we're going to end the video on this highlighted section right now, just to show you that when a player does their interview... It's just for that money, innit? Because there's no actual integrity behind the words that they're saying, bruv. As you can see, yeah? Aubameyang's words were this. I dream of being one of them. Amongst the best and staying in the hearts of the fans forever. I want to become, a, I want to become an Arsenal legend just like Thierry, Wrighty, Adams and Bergkamp. Too many to mention. He wanted to be up there, remembered in the, the flip, in, in the hearts forever. You get me? Um, his dad was a captain, whatever, I don't give a shit. Listen, I want to leave a legacy. This is where I belong. This is my family. Best is to come, yeah? All for the money, bruv. He doesn't mean any of that because right now, as we speak, he's doing his medical for Chelsea FC. <laughs> hey, bruv. There's no lawyer. So that's why I don't feel no type of way, bruv. You get me? So, yeah, um, that's all I can say. Say, wait, no, no, no. That's not even the funniest bit. This is the funniest bit. My like Ian, right? was like, hey, thank you so much, Oba, for staying, man. 
Others have left us in the past, but you stayed when we needed you the most. <laughs> He's gone now. <laughs> hey, bruv. Hey, hey, listen, listen, this is actually too funny. They don't care. They, no one cares, bro. I'm telling you, no one gives a shit about anything. We just want the best for our current situation, as you can see, bruv. Anyway, that's all I can say. Back to back to FM22. Yeah, you lot. Um, if you like that video, like that video. Um, subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me. And I'll see you in my next episode, bruv. See you.